and gentlemen, and welcome to the first episode of Season 3 of LDM London Eye. We're here in Grays in Essex for a stellar contest as the British Heavyweight Championship is set to be defended. And coming to the ring at the moment is the champion himself, John the Don Ritchie, being accompanied by his butler, Ponsipi Pendleton Pratt. John Ritchie is a ruthless, aggressive and dare I say sadistic champion having held on to that championship now for 11 straight months but he will have a very interesting challenge in the form of tonight's challenger the young and very enthusiastic Travis. Coming to the ring now is the official number one contender to the British Heavyweight Championship. This is Travis. He's only been in the grappling game for four years, but what a stellar CV this man has managed to put together. Back in 2008, he won his first significant championship when he won the Capital Championship. He then went on to win the Tag Team Championship, but tonight he could really cap it off by claiming the richest prize in British wrestling, the British Heavyweight Championship. But I gotta tell you, it's gonna be a massive uphill challenge as he takes on the three time British heavyweight champion, John the Don Ritchie. Travis, incredibly popular here tonight in Greys. Shout out. He used the word of you now, man. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you either. He is John Mount Ritchie. And that's what it's for, ladies and gentlemen. The British Heavyweight Championship. Very sorry that you had to hear that, ladies and gentlemen. But now that the theatrics is out of the way, now we can get down to this British Heavyweight Championship match. And as you can see, the two men now squaring off. One, a young up-and-coming rookie. The other, he's been around the block a few times. A rival veteran. And John Ritchie there on top already. And you see the referee right there to make sure if a pinfall is made, it will be made. John Ritchie there isolating. The, the right arm of Travis with his leg and although I can't see from my vantage point I would imagine that he will have isolated the other arm with his hands and there we've got the nice wrist lock and he snaps it onto Travis Travis no doubt will not want to be in this situation and who would? Travis a two time capital champion will want to keep this match fast because if there's one disadvantage John the Ritchie has and that's his age, and I mean no disrespect by that. He has had a lot of experience within the ring. And unfortunately for Travis, that experience might be what ends his potential chance at the British Championship here tonight. And John Ritchie there, tearing at the face. The referee not being able to see it, not being able to call it. But he tightens that vice-like headlock. Just to let your fans know that in an untelevised match, we got to see a championship change as Richard Parliament, in a live event in Edmonton, was able to defeat Hakan in a ladder match to become the new Capital Wrestling Champion. Very interesting individual, and I advise that you check him out on LDNWrestling.com. 
and this EU extremist will be defending his newly won championship right here on the London Eye. But it begs the question, if we've recently seen the Capital Championship change hands, how likely is it that the British Heavyweight Championship will change hands right here tonight in Greys? Well, as you can see at the moment, Travis stuck on the ground and John Ritchie trying to mutilate his, his face there. Travis struggling to get up, but he's still stuck in that headlock. I'll tell you one thing, John Ritchie, you really wouldn't want to mess with him. He knows exactly what he's doing in there. I mean, those look like short, sharp European uppercuts. But I wouldn't be surprised if they were illegally on my tab, being directed straight into the jugular of Travis. And the referee's desperately trying to see what's going on. But John Ritchie knows exactly where he is in the ring at all times. And there he is, wrenching that headlock. John Ritchie keeping the pressure of that headlock on nice and tight. He wants to keep Travis to the ground to get the pinfall. European uppercut there and a couple. I mean, it's interesting. John Ritchie's style holds on to the European uppercut. And now there's a second snap man with Travis onto his feet. LDN Wrestling Live is coming back to Ashford on May 20th. And you can be there at the Stour Center simply by calling 01621. 890153 and then the following night May 21st we will be back in London at the All Saints Art Centre in Totteridge for tickets to this unmissable event call 0208 445 8388 and for more information on these and all upcoming LDN shows visit ldnwrestling.com well, as we're in British rules John Ritchie has a no standing 10 count John Ritchie gets him at six and Travis meets him straight away with another snap mare. But John Ritchie constantly getting back up to his feet. Oh, it looks like John Ritchie's going for the same trick as Travis, but there's a pinfall. Two. Oh, but John Ritchie manages to sneak out. He's isolated the legs, but Travis manages to find the escape. And John Ritchie now on the outside of the ring. I mean, the one disadvantage he has is that. He just doesn't have the cardio of Travis and he is riding that 10 count. He is trying to get the best breather that he can possibly get. And he needs to take every advantage and that's what makes him such a brilliant champion. Here we go now, double Roman knock along. Oh and Travis jumps on John Ritchie's hands. Question begs itself, can Travis really win the British Championship tonight? And here we go with another test of strength, which John Ritchie's now on top of. Of course, he's Travis down to the ground. Looks like he's going for the trick that Travis went for earlier. Went for the stop. Oh! But Travis was one step ahead, quite literally. Now John Ritchie back on the outside. There he is, gas bagging with the ringside announcer. You've been choking, you've been doing the usual dirty stuff, and you're saying that you've come here to wrestle. Don't listen to him, Don't listen to him. And we're back ladies and gentlemen, and during the break you can see that John Ritchie is now very much in control of this British Heavyweight Championship match. John Ritchie's got the front headlock there, and now you're in a place that you do not want to be when you're going up against John the Don Ritchie in the corner. I mean John Ritchie's such a dangerous competitor. I mean in the past I've seen, oh wait a minute, Ponsonby Pendleton Pratt choking the light out of Travis, and Travis's chances of winning the you championship and being squeezed out of him. In your life, and you never will. What a prat, ladies and gentlemen. What a prat. But as I was trying to say, I mean, John Ritchie, such a dangerous competitor. In his first match in LDN, I saw him with my very eyes break the ankle of his opponent. Not due to an accident, but just purely because he wanted to. Oh, Travis off the corner, and John Ritchie catches him with a. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, modified fall away slam there. And John Ritchie is most definitely in control. Ladies and gentlemen, I have fantastic news. LDN Wrestling will be live and in action in France and Belgium in the upcoming weeks. On May 19th, we will rock Calais in France. And on May 20th, will be action in Brussels, Belgium. The biggest LDN stars, including Travis, Yorgos, JD Knight and Richard Parliament will be there. So you don't want to miss out. For more information, contact LDN Wrestling via their website www.ldnwrestling.com or find us on Facebook. European uppercut and Travis falls rather unceremoniously onto his back. There's a snap mare again into the corner. Oh wait a minute! And Ponzelty Pendleton Pratt there again choking Travis. I mean where's the referee in all this? Oh hang on a minute. Well, it looks like Ponsby Pendleton Pratt is being escorted out of the ring. And now this is a level playing field. This is the best chance in this match that Travis has of winning the British Championship. But John Ritchie, ever ruthless, launches Travis into the corner. And now picks him up by the arm. Close fisted punch to the gut. Travis off the second rope. But oh, John Ritchie's caught him again. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Travis down. One, two. Three! Oh my! Oh my goodness! I, I think we've just seen an upset! And I think the fans know it! Ladies and gentlemen, Travis actually did it! And what an amazing story! Only been in the game for four years, this young man had a dream of becoming a wrestler, joined the LDN training school, and then went on to win the Capital Championship, the Tag Team Championship, and now he has finally secured the richest prize in British wrestling in the form of the LDN British Heavyweight Championship. And what an amazing feeling it must be to win such a prestigious prize in front of this crowd. I have not seen anything like it. Well, as you can see out there at the moment, we've got the likes of Jason Sensation, Yorgos, and even the big honcho himself, Sanjay Bagger, congratulating the new cham champion. But I'll tell you one thing, if you thought beating John Ritchie was tough, then you've got a whole world of hurt ahead of you, because everyone will be gunning for you and that heavyweight championship. Make sure you join us for the next edition of the London Eye as former British heavyweight champion Yorgos returns to LDN action after a 15 month absence. Will he have lost the beat? Well you have to join us to find out. Well, congratulations to Travis and ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to get out of there. Thank you for joining us and thank you for watching The London Eye. Stay tuned to LDNWrestling.com for more episodes of The London Eye or follow us on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you and good night.